Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Back again this week on the River Eden. I'll show you where I'm in a second. I'll show you where I'm thinking of pitching my tent, which is just off camera down here. Yeah, it should be a good night this one. We've got the the big, uh, big city fireworks show going on and I think I'm about a mile away from where it's happening. So I'm totally out of the crowd, just get it all to myself. Um, and I show you a pretty good view of two parts of fireworks going off. I've got some um, really nice looking bratwurst sausages to cook. And yeah, just gonna chill out, have a few beers. We're gonna do beer and brats with the uh, with the hot dogs, and just enjoy a night like it's meant to be. So yeah, this is where I am. So the fireworks are gonna be happening just over here. So like you can see, clear skies and everything. It'll be going dark in about an hour, so I should have a pretty good view of where it's all happening. Absolutely cracking little camp for um, a bonfire night this. And just over there where you can see it's a bit flattened out, that's where I'm looking at pitching my tent in a bit. I've just got the bobcat out with me again. But I do have some new gear to show you tonight. So yeah, I'm going to sit, chill, wait for it to start getting dark, get my tent pitched up. I'll bring you back then. Until then, I'm going to have a little beer. Here we go, starting to get dark now, pitched up, didn't feel like I needed to show me pitching his tent again, although I'm sure in the future you'll probably see it again, <laughs> but yeah it's not the best of pitches as you can see, it's a bit baggy on the back of there, I'm on a bit of a bit of a jaunty angle but it'll do for the night. I'll show you where I was sat before as well because uh, I just kind of came across it as I was walking down, um, yeah I've got uh, my bag of beers and my backpacks and over here but I don't even know what it is, it's some kind of metal grate somebody's dumped down as a bench it's on a yet again a jaunty angle but i think that's probably going to be the theme of tonight <laughs> but yeah it's definitely starting to get dark now that's the last bit of light and then we'll turn to facing this way where we can see the lights coming on and hopefully an awful lot of lights up here i don't think i mentioned before as well but just up here where you can see the light coming in the path that I followed in and I'm going to follow back in the morning is the uh, the Hadrian's wall path that passes through Carlisle so yeah we'll see you about that in the morning <sighs> like I said I've got some bits and bobs to show you tonight so I'll show you So after I've gone on or half done for God knows how many videos about uh, the hiking tube pillow, yeah the last camp it did fail through the night and I've never been able to get it right even though I've patched it up and sealed it and all that kind of stuff, it's not work right. So got a new pillow from Flexdale gear, same company as this light comes from, shouldn't have looked that in the eye. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's an ergonomically designed one this. So once I show you the other thing I've got, I'll get this out and I'll uh, I'll show you what it's all about. But the other thing might take a bit of getting out of the bag because it's a big lad. It, um, it's certainly a bit too big for for this bag. But I got it all in. It's got new sleeping bag, right? I'm gonna put the picture up on the screen here of what I thought I was buying. Well, it, it is the product, but. As you can see by the picture, it doesn't fit on a hand like the picture shows. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this game today, I've not had it on the pack or anything yet. Uh, I have bought it as a winter sleeping bag. It's a snug pack TSB, so snug pack the sleeping bag. Yeah, th this goes down to a comfort rating of minus two or three, I think it was. Um, and then the lows minus seven, so it's, it's ideal for winter camping in the UK. Well, hopefully. Look how the summer was this year. Can't predict anything at this point, but yeah. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see it. Oh, it says on here, yeah. So, comfort minus two. Low minus seven. It comes in weighing uh, 1.6 kilo. So, it's pretty, It's lighter than um, the Burgos one I've got. I think that's... I can't remember now. I think it's about 1.8 or something. But, it's got a better comfort rating and all that kind of stuff. So... Looking forward to give this a go tonight. Let's get out of the pack and see what it's like. Oh, 
That is shiny, look at that. Bloody hell. Obviously a very well uh, reputable company snug pack, so oh nice it's black inside so it's gonna hold heat well. That is soft you know, that is really really soft. I said to Kyle he can use the uh, the Burgos one for the winter if he wants just because it's a bit warmer than the one he's got so double win really yeah. I don't know the best way to sleep tonight you know. Probably better having this as a head and oh, that feels so comfortable like. Right I'll show you this one, the Flextail pillow which I have had out. There's two sizes of this you can order so there's a thicker size. I've got the, because I only I only sleep with one pillow if I'm in a bed, so I've just got the, the slightly thinner one. But it's got straps so you can fit around your mat, which to be honest, in the bobcat you don't really need to do because the size of me, I'm kind of, I don't quite fill it but I'm not far off, so there's not much room for it to slide around. But yeah, it's got the, the double, if I can get it open. The double bit on here so you've got one to let it go, plug the other one in and then just blow into it and you can pump it up from there. I would have liked to use the Flextail pump to pump this up tonight but uh, I don't know how I've done it, I've actually left the clip so I had to put my mattress up and everything by my mouth today. The design on this is so it's kind of contoured so there's a thinner end there's a thicker end so to sleep on it should be good because I find when I'm in a bed anyhow I kind of bury my head into the bottom and push the top up so what I was thinking when I was looking at this to order it was it should be ideal but we'll see full review coming in the morning right so for food tonight as well I brought the the bigger pan I've got camping one anyhow um, and the little griddle pan just sat underneath that these are the bratverse I was talking about me and Kyle picked them up in Keswick last week when um we were doing the walk around down with water so yeah like i said i'm going to do uh beer and brats so uh, the beer i'm going to use is if i'm getting this bag a tiny rebel bubbles so 6.2 but that's not going to matter when i've cooked it off but I'll, I'll use about half the can in that and i'll drink the other half i've never tried this before so i'm looking forward to trying that one favorite brewery well then a northern monk i've got so yeah the bratwurst i've got so half an onion cut up, I cut that and the chilies, which are gonna go in the pan with the beer and the sausages. I've got some mustard and some tomato relish to uh, finish them off. And then over here, probably squashed. Oh no, they're not, they've held quite well in the bag. A couple of nice cedar rolls. So yeah, I'm gonna simmer the onions, the chili, the sausages off in the pan. Once all the liquids kinda disappeared, uh, I'm gonna finish these sausages off by grilling them I'm actually kind of wondering because they kind of look white don't they I'm wondering what colour they're going to turn to as I cook them but I think they'll look like a normal sausage by the end or brass first uh, <laughs> and yeah uh, stick them in the rolls with a bit of the tomato relish and a bit of mustard so it should be good and like I said very fitting for bonfire night for snacks I've got bag of pork crackling these are decent you know man. they cost about 50p and then some of these which are becoming my favourite at the minute, I absolutely love them. Pretzel pieces, yet again they cost about 60-70 pence, uh, jalapeno petrol pieces, absolutely gorgeous. Both of these being and bad boys. But yeah I've got about half an hour till the fireworks start now so just going to kind of chill out. Have another one of these which is a new beer by Brewdog I think. Brewdog Wingman, really nice. Session IPA, dead easy drinking. Um, it's nice to see Brewdog coming out with some crazy designs as well. Just before I go actually, before the fireworks start, like I said, got the Bubbles beer, got the new Brewdog and I've got, which I've never tried before, a Northern Monk, Lucy Ketchin, it must be a featured one this is it, yeah Faith in Futures. It's a strong boy though, it's a 6.5 IPA, so yeah, that'll send me to bed. <laughs>
gas and veggie onion. I'm going to open this as well because there's not too much left of the other beer in there. Uh, the pan. Well, not all of it, but enough so I can get my sausages in. But yeah, there's a, a fair bit of weight getting added to it now. Well, this is not what I intended to bring you back at all. It's uh, six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had my food and I got in the tent and I just wanted to see what the sleeping bag was like. Got in the sleeping bag, which is unreal, by the way. Can't wait to test this out in some colder conditions. It's uh, so toasty and just so comfortable. Yeah, really impressed. Same with the uh, pillow. Really like the, the design of it. I've slept so well. <laughs> Clearly, yeah. I was just, uh, like I say, I stuck a podcast on and I was just kind of chilling and the next thing I knew it was about 3 in the morning, so... <laughs> gonna get up, I'm gonna get packed up as it's getting light uh, and then I can show you the, the bit of the trail that um, I'm sleeping near. That's a problem with sleeping so close to a river. First time I've had condensation on this tent in a long time. Still dark. I didn't even know I'd fallen asleep with this light on, so it's not giving out much power this morning. Oh, that's cold. Wow. That will wake you up. <laughs> yeah, the condensation's definitely, definitely an issue. Like I didn't bother us through the night or anything, but but you can see even that. A massive layer of it. It's always the same when you come too close to water. I'm only about what four foot off. Obviously higher up, but yeah, lovely night. I enjoyed the fireworks. They're absolutely brilliant. I really hope they come out well on camera. Uh, I couldn't see as many as I'd like to. I could only really see the big ones that were coming over the back, so I could hear more before I started recording. If you get what I mean. But yeah. Beer and brats were brilliant, I'll be doing them again. We actually got, because there was, was a whole plan for tonight where there was going to be a big bonfire and stuff um, in the woodlands near Dalson that we often go to, because I think they're just beginning to knock it down, unfortunately, so we want to give it a, a goodbye kind of thing. Um, but yeah, we got some massive ones from um, from Morrison's on the same day, but I've got them in the freezer at home, so when we're down there, me and Kyle will get them chefed up, and uh, well, yeah, they look really good, so I look forward to that one. So yeah, the snug pack TSB. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 so far. That was an absolutely awesome sleep in it. And then the Flexdale pillow. Really enjoyed it yet again. It felt very similar to sleep onto the hiking tour. I think it's a similar material in the outside, but you can see there the the kind of shape of it. Really comfortable to sleep on. Good purchase. It only costs about 15 quid as well. The only thing I'll say about this is just the sheer bulk of it. Uh, I'm going to put that picture up again because <laughs> it's just you can see even just an empty bag how how off that picture is. Another first left as always. You can see why I had so much condensation, it's not rained or anything, everything's just soaked. Not far to go though. It's pretty much just to this bridge here. It's got this sketchy little bit to get past. Oh god, I can feel it with my bag. Oh, through there. 
yeah it doesn't doesn't give you much room to move on the side of that it's all right there oh it's slippy and there we are up past the river now uh don't know which way to go i can go up that way and that'll um that basically takes us towards uh bonus on the hadrian's wall path i can keep going down here we'll cut off or go all the way down um i don't know how far all the way down i can go because that's where the fireworks were last night and they won't have all that open back up yet so yeah We'll see where the uh, dark mistakes is there. <laughs> I wish it was a bit lighter though, because this, this right around here is uh, one of my favourite viewpoints in Carlo. It's gorgeous. The light is starting to pick up quickly now, you can see in the sky, it's great. Hopefully by the time I get back into the town, uh, Bit too perfect. You can go and get some breakfast somewhere. I'm quite hungry now. That's what I get for sleeping for about 12 hours. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to see how close I can get to Bits Park and just see the aftermath of last night. What well, some fantastic fireworks from where I was at. I don't know what the theme was for the fire or anything this year. They usually have a, a theme thing. I could hear some story being told, that kind of thing. I don't know how well the audio will come up on here, but I'll find out when I get over. Like I said, it's certainly brightening up now. So I've just seen a fella head down towards Bits Park, so I'm going to chance it and just see if I can get down that way, because it's a bit of a nicer walk than walking over the football pitches. It's, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. So I think from where I camped to getting home, it's about, must be about four miles. Um, might differ with different routes and stuff like that because there is a lot of different ways you can get into uh, what we call in Carlisle this area is Engine Lolling. Beautiful area. It was only, um, I didn't have lived in Carlisle all my life, it was only a couple of years I first walked it, it was when we were training for Cumbria, no, training for Hadrian's Wall, sorry, yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a funny trail, the Hadrian's Wall trail, there's parts of it that are absolutely amazing, especially when you're in the, the central kind of bits, hitting the Pennines. Um, but yeah, I like the, I like this bit of Carlisle and the stretches you get onto the Solway but walking through Newcastle and is it the, the route up to uh, Trolliford or Colliford or however you say it I've done it twice now and I <laughs> both times I kind of stand it like it's nothing nothing like a trail should be at all it does pick up the further further west you get though at least and it's no doubt one I'll do again because the video I did for it was the first video I'd ever recorded and it was absolutely terrible it's actually private now <laughs> Oh well, the football pitch is. Well, it got up to a uh, bit park and it's still closed off. There's a fella there saying it's not open till later on today, so turn back around and then cut by the trees to get back onto here. I can't remember exactly. I think you go over this bank and it takes you down towards the bridge down there, but find out. Uh, there's some better skies for you. And here we go. This looks like the path I was looking for. I'm pretty sure taking this way means I can get across the river. I hope it does any else, so I'm going to have to turn back up, up back on myself. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and yeah, this is where I was meaning down here. Hopefully it's not flooded out. That looks alright. Yeah, it's fine. Loads of graffiti down here though. Probably gonna leave this one here though guys, because as I get up there I'm just back in the city centre and who need to see that. But yeah, fantastic camp, really enjoyed that. Um, first time I stopped out on like a bonfire night or anything like that and I'll definitely do it again. Try and find somewhere with a bit more elevation and see if we can see a few more towns with the fireworks or something next year. Should be good, but yeah. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you have. And until next time, I'll see you there. <laughs>